Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our March Wellness Kitchen. Um, today we have a very special guest, Lori Gilhausen, and she is a diabetes care and education specialist over at ACMC. She's a registered nurse, and um, we have a couple things going on this month. So it's today is American Diabetes Alert Day, right? Yep. And then, and it's the month uh, National Nutrition Month too. Yep. So. Perfect opportunity to have Lori. <laughs> Lori. Yeah, and it's also like Kidney Health Month. Okay. Along with that. a few other things that are all connected together. Okay. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you do at the hospital first? And get sure. To know you a little bit. Um, I do um, diabetes care and education. I've been a nurse at the hospital for over 35 years. Um, I've been doing diabetes for 35 years, except really because I worked on the heart floor and a step down, and you always had diabetes and everything else also. Um, so I got interested in doing diabetes and got an opportunity to do it and I've been enjoying helping people learn how to manage all of the different things. You know, it's one thing to learn how to use your meter. It's one thing to go, oh, what is all this new stuff I have to do about food choicing and how do I make all these things meet and match and work? And then the last, um, it's been maybe five, six years, the diabetes, American Diabetes Association, um, found they decided to make today the fourth Tuesday of March the diabetes alert day and it's kind of like the stop diabetes because a lot of people don't know they have it right because diabetes and high blood pressure and cholesterol and even kidney disease right. does the damage in the background and you don't know it's happening until you get the lab work that says oh we better watch out for something so sometimes you will get diagnosed with either pre-diabetes or it used to be called metabolic syndrome or it used to be syndrome X and nobody did much about it. And then they said, let's just call it pre-diabetes because we're trying to prevent diabetes. And it's that knock on the door. It's like diabetes is like that wolf in the three little pig story saying, let me in, I'm gonna huff and puff. And we're hoping that we've got the brick house at the end. And that's why lifestyle changes because um, our bodies are wonderful machines and let us take care of business as long as we can. <laughs> but then it asks for help. And that's what the body's doing. So today we're going to be doing something a little different than what we normally do. Um, we have, we're going to be cooking chicken, but I know a lot of you out there have heard of different ways to cook it. So we are going to cook it three different ways. So we're going to uh, use it in the saucepan. We have our pressure cooker and our air fryer. So Lori's going to rip up some delicious chicken <laughs> with some spices and we were talking before the show. I mean, you can really get creative in, in how you do this. So uh, we will obviously post some recipes, but feel free to, to add or, you know, make it your own, yeah. basically. So are we going to start with the chicken first? Um, you know, I was thinking we I, I put the steam kind of low because we're okay. going to just oh, steam right. some frozen vegetables or you can microwave the frozen vegetables. And the best deal with frozen vegetables is they're usually the cheapest all year round. Right. You know, we live in an area where you're not going to have garden vegetables till later. We are blessed in Ashtabula County to have um, produce giveaways that are not based on your income. It's just when there's excess produce, um, it's given out for free at oh. the different food sites. And it, sometimes you got to work with it right away. So it might be cook it now and freeze it mm -hmm. or, you know eat it or yeah. can it or whatever right. but it's a nice way that if your garden didn't grow enough green right. beans to freeze right. that you can yeah. um, so you can certainly make you can grow you know vegetables yourself there's farmers market we yeah, have the a farmers, farmers market that comes to premiere during the the summer we'll be posting when that's coming but for today like Lori yeah. said we're kind of limited so we're, we're going with the frozen so she's just going to steam them I kind of like the way that tastes the best. It's not, yeah, because then it's not real mushy. And the other way, if we did grab fresh, I know a, a big thing with vegetables is are you able to eat them before they go back? So, once again, if it's frozen, then they're easy to get just what you want before you run out. Um, so, what would you put on? 
on the vegetables. Like you're just steaming them now. So you don't put anything on them until like after they're steamed. Well, you know, some recipes different. say that you could like put herbs and things in the water. So oh, it's okay. part of that infusing them. Okay. Sometimes um, you can sprinkle herbs on and just let them kind of soak in. Okay. Another great way to do vegetables, it's a very different flavor if you can't stomach anything this direction, roasting them. Oh, and right. then you spritz out some oil and spritz on a bunch of herbs or spices or just salt and pepper if you're a purist okay. or nothing. So and just in the oven on, on the broiler? On the oven on the broiler. Okay. Can you grill? You could in the summer. Yeah, you can grill them in the summer. And that's also, it brings up different flavors. So that's okay. where we're going to do with that. But this one, unfortunately, I just said water. Okay. And okay. I put it on medium, so we're going to cross our fingers. And this is how I cook. I apologize. If so many people say, yeah, I have to cook for them. No. <laughs> I follow the directions in my one cookbook. I've got notes. Don't do it that again. There's two recipes in my old cookbook that say, don't do this one again. <laughs> and so I want to keep this one separate. And then the other neat thing, because, you know, we're kind of working on our new diabetes plate plan. Oh, look at that. A recipe stuck to the bottom. <laughs> um, so a controversial piece of this is, okay, I put a potato out here. And this, with, with lots of people are like, oh my gosh, it's a potato. Um, oh my gosh, yes, it's okay, it's a potato. Because the serving is like a half of one of these little guys that are in here. The directions on this lovely package say to leave them in here, and then we're microwaving them. You want to cook them in the oven because you don't have a microwave. That works perfect too. Or steam them or, or, bake, steam them or, or bake them. Or, you know, you could oil them, roll them in some salt or herbs and spices and do whatever you want with them. But this is why potatoes get a bad rap. Think about it. That's what you get served. That's all you can eat all day. Yeah. That's what the, 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 honestly, this guy is like four mm -hmm. servings. Yeah. Four 30 gram cooked carb servings. <laughs> Every three ounces of a potato, whether it's white, or red or a sweet potato is still 15 grams of carbs at the end of its two hour lean time. Yes, it has different vitamins. It's only got one gram of fiber difference. There's a few different vitamins, a few different minerals, but at the end of the chunk, it's still a carb. Right. So it's not like I can do this much sweet potato fries and say I'm good because I eat a sweet potato. But that's where you be careful. So like maybe you bake the whole thing and then you slice it up, and then there's some for breakfast like, in the morning. How many serving? Three? Well, or two? you kind of think about the size of the palm of your hand yeah, in a right. potato. So yeah. it's one, two, three, and then the potatoes and pasta and rice. Right. If it's your cupped hand, it's 30 grams of carbs, not 15. Okay. If I had this much and it was corn, it would only be 15 grams of carbs. Corn and peas and lentils, that half a cup. And you always got your hand with you. Yeah. I mean, yes, we use measuring cups. But That's a good you've way always got your hand with you. Okay. All right, so should I cook these? Now? Yeah, if it won't make too much noise. Okay. So this is, we found this at Walmart. It's great. It's, you just put it right in the microwave, right? You don't have to open the bag yeah. or anything. You don't have to scrub the edges either because right they're pre washed and ready to run. And then we'll make a little treat for putting that on there. Yeah, I kept wanting to go find sour cream, and then I kept going, no, we grabbed sweet potatoes and not the white potatoes. I need to put my glasses on. Oh. <laughs> what did it say? It said eight minutes. So oh, yeah, eight minutes. minutes. Does it say flip it halfway through? Sometimes when you microwave, it tells you to flip it I don't halfway so. through, and it doesn't. Yeah. But I think because these are all very small, and they're flat, and we've got a spinning yeah. table one, it won't have any cold spots. So while that's cooking, okay, so we got our vegetables cooking, we got our sweet potatoes cooking, and now we'll kind of get some chicken going. So chicken, you can do almost anything you want to it. We could just, I put some um, olive oil, olive oil in there. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um, a little bit of butter if you want, and so a lot of recipes do have a little butter for that flavor, right. but not having all of that saturated fat from it. So um, I could do that. Yeah, Ooh, for that one anyway. I'm not okay. quite sure how I'm going to rub <laughs> butter and do the herbs and spices elsewhere. Okay, little knives are here. Are you cutting okay. more? Um, no, this one should be okay. We're just going to cut open the. No, I was going to all the butter. I was going to drop a little <laughs> bit of butter. Okay. You know the neat thing in butter, it already marks out tablespoons. So if you do like that chunk, that's three servings of butter. Yeah. You know, all my food list. If you guys have all looked at it, it says like a teaspoon. 
Yeah, so it's one third of that chunk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. We're all yeah. like, oh, wait, that's fine. And we're going to cook a pound. Wait, each one of our packs is around a pound, mm -hmm. a little over a pound, a little un. No, they're all over a pound. Like I said, we're going to do, we're going to cook it three different ways. I mean, you can bake it in the oven. There's so many ways yeah. you can make chicken, but. If, if you're really pressed for time, the, the uh, pressure cooker is awesome because that that does not take very long at all and it's, it's very tender. Yes, I used that. a tablespoon because we've got a pounded okay. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Sizzling. Good. And you know, that's my little trick too at home. I'll use a stick of margarine or butter if I don't have the spray and then I paint the bottom of the pan. And that way it goes everywhere I want. You don't get that stupid little hole yeah. that doesn't ever get the oil. Right. Until you put more oil than you want in it. <laughs> it won't come off. <laughs> yeah, this is cooking. Right. This is cooking. Here there you go. It'll drop. <laughs> or you need another place to put your other hand. We're going to get chicken in there so I don't have to worry about that. We can still use this. Yeah. Or other things. And then herbs and spices. I have four different recipes and they all asked for some similar stuff and there's some stuff in it because it's a mixed group. I'm gonna eat this soon. I'm going for the mild. So I've got some, just I bought an organic seasoning, the Italian mix that's got the oregano and the basil and the margarine, margarine some sage. There's some garlic in here. There's a lot of garlic in this recipe today. Yeah. <laughs> I hope your stomachs are okay with that. Um, I'm probably gonna add more pepper because I got a lot of herbs and spices there and that pepper just doesn't look like enough, but then I'm adding paprika. So maybe I, I'll just let it sit for a minute there and yeah, shake a little bit in there. Yeah, go ahead and shake a little more pepper because I didn't yeah, put enough. <laughs> and then, yes, oh my goodness, I'm gonna use some salt. These guys weren't frozen, so they're not grinded like the frozen chicken breast would be. So that's where, on your package, look at the salt, look at the carbs, look at the serving sizes, and then I'm just, just going to put it. a little bit of salt here so I don't have to put it later. And one of the cooking things we're using, we're going to use um, some chicken broth. So if like it gets dry in here, I'm going to throw some yeah. broth in there. Uh, and then I've got it all right here handy because I know I'm going to need more. So... I'm gonna just mix this up a little bit without spilling it all over the place. It's okay. Yeah, we all know, like, you know, this is where sometimes on those cooking shows, they show you using that cute little whisk. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. It's all oh, gonna hit the floor. Get one of those little mini whisks. That's a good I idea. Oh, I didn't bring you a mini whisk. I, I brought you some mini tongs oh. for serving. <laughs> <laughs> I looked right at the mini whisk and said, no, we don't need that. So really just get creative. If you don't yeah. like one of these spices, just add something else. Right, and they, some of the recipes have lemon juice in them. So I think I'll just pour that in with the yeah. oil so it'll just be there. Uh, Garlic, you know, you can have the clove and smash it to get the minced or cut it up really good with a knife. Um, we cheated and got it already done for us. And I cheat really bad at home and just use powder. <laughs> right. So because I options. never eat it all at one time. But this is awesome. It's already minced. It's already there. And most of my recipes said anywhere from a half a teaspoon to a tablespoon, and I'm trying to make enough for three pounds of chicken. <laughs> That's why I'm looking at my thing here going, this is not going to work. So that was a tablespoon. This is a half a teaspoon. Oh, yeah, that would be much better. Where'd you find that magic? <laughs> I yeah. It's her magic kitchen. Work magic in here. <laughs> no. Pour that in here too, or, um, or just in the no? I, I'm, I'm guessing I should have put the garlic and the lemon juice in the bottom yeah. instead of in there okay. because well, well that's okay. So that's why we keep the shape around the because, because then we're gonna. Oh, oh this is ready to go. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, so this is where we can get a little bit slimy a little okay. bit messy good thing we have it's sink. chicken yes. and we got a sink and i'm going to just take our cute little plate out of there and our oh, other little plate we'll put it on there oh so. that's right it'll <laughs> melt oh, hi. we'll put it over here <laughs> yeah okay so um yeah let's just get these you want that little knife yeah keep washing. yeah we'll use that little knife because the next things will just need big knives 
So we, we, we also did another quick, quick save at home. This stuff is already thin. So that's the other neat thing, because I don't know about you, but I have come home with a chicken breast that I thought was good. It's one hand and then opened it up and found it was two and a half hands. But so I didn't have to worry about cutting it here. We found thin. And so I Here's washed my hands. Off. We take that off. Oh, wow. they did not do skin that very well. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, you could cook it with this, but it puts a little more fat in it. And I've already got fat between the butter yeah. and the spices. And so some of that edge is going to come off. And some of it won't. That's all right. Just so yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. I don't know. Why aren't you sizzling? Okay. I'm going to turn it up. Anything more? So it's between low and high, about in the middle, because I know that's another question everybody asks, like, where should it go? And see, they're kind of thin, so they'll cook a little faster. Um, the other thing you can do to make them cook faster is pound them. I've mm -hmm. never pounded it, honest. I I've never done have. that. But Does normally when I, well, I will, I will do that, texturize it when I'm um, stuffing it. Oh, like yeah. I'll take it and I'll, I'll stuff the chicken with... I've done like cream cheese and, and that crab meat. Oh, yes, That's really yes, yes. good. Or you can stuff it with, well, stuffing is probably too many carbs, but. Well, <laughs> you it, it would be cheese. okay because. You do. I mean, there's lots of there's things. There's other too. things you can use crab for meat. stuffing. Yeah. You know, and, and if you've got good bread in there, you're going to get fiber. Right. You know, or you can do nuts or do, there's, you know, it's where do you want your carbs at this meal? Right. You know, <laughs> some holidays. It's the only time somebody makes the best. Um, oh, now look at that. One was really thick want, and one was really thin. Are you going to cover these? Yeah. Okay. After, after, i got to put some oh, of this right. in there, I too. about the spices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where I'm. I'm going to put some spices on there. Yeah, we're going to put the spices on. The, the other ones, we're going to rub them first before we drop them in. Sometimes when I'm cooking at home, I just go. Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> <laughs> or I play dial a spice. I got a bunch on a Lazy Susan thing in my cupboard. Ooh, two tiers worth of it. I think these are done, but I'm going to leave them in there. Yeah, the rest of it. Oh, they smell so good. Yeah, they do. Leave that in there. There we go. This is like when you're trying to cook bacon at home. You're bound and determined to get it all in the pan no matter what. Okay. Here, I'll take this away. Okay, and then we'll save that one for the next thing. I'm going to wash my hands really quick before I play with the next thing here. Yeah, you want to make sure you don't cross contaminate. So if you're using vegetables, you want to have a separate cutting board for that because uh, you don't want to, you know, get the, the raw chicken or raw meat mixed with the vegetables. And that's that also some problems. <laughs> well, and that's also why um, you might say, oh my gosh, she didn't rinse that before she cooked it. <laughs> and, and they say, don't do that because yeah. then you splatter whatever yeah. chicken droppings on, on your sink, counter. on the counter, all over the place. You know, but you always want to kind of wash as you go, especially with chicken. And yeah, um, yeah. Don't don't put the garlic paste in there yeah. first. <laughs> that was the wrong way to go here. <laughs> That's okay. But we we'll, we will just kind of poke it on, on here, brush it on there. Um, it smells good. Sometimes they'll have you um, bath bathe the chicken in like a liquid of some sort, so you could push that on there. Um, Sometimes if you've got a couple hours or overnight, marinate it, right? you marinate yeah. it, like in Italian dressing, it's done. Or you could do dry dressings and a little bit of moisture in the fridge. You don't want to leave it out on the counter. Um, that kind of fun stuff that way. But, um, yeah. Hmm. We may have to make some more. We're going to make more of this okay. so we can dry rub it on, on the next two yeah. cooking things. So. Um, should we get the air fryer thing going next? Yeah, we can Because you that. said there's an interesting pan to use, and June is the expert on air oh, frying. I don't know anything expert. about it, but I know a lot of the people I work with I love are mine. constantly going, I air fry, I air fry. I'm like, great, I've never air fried, so I'm looking forward to trying out chicken air fry. All right, so in your air fryers, you typically have like a basket. There's a lot of different kinds. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, cover. Okay. Yeah. So this one that we have, this is really cool because it, it does several different things. It's going to bake, it's going to broil, it's going to toast, and it, and it can air fry. 
So like I said, they're, they're everywhere now. Um, so we're gonna use this basket. So go ahead and we'll put the chicken. Oh, um, oh we gotta make more stuff. Yeah, before I get <laughs> messy. But yeah, we won't, we won't put the garlic. No, garlic, the, the garlic will go, we'll rub it in with a little, cause even I think the air fryers, you do put a little oil on the meat before you put it on the thing. Or well, you just you put can your own spray. Thing in. What I'll do is oh, we'll, we'll spray. spray the bottom of the pan or the basket, and then um, then we'll spray the top of the chicken. Yeah, we're just gonna estimate here. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, well, that's two hundred pounds of chicken. <laughs> okay, Eric. I used half of that over here. Um, so it looks pretty. There you go. That looks pretty. That looks pretty. All right. Um, what did I do with that fork? I'll give you another fork. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, give me another fork only because I might have touched the meat while I was pressing it in. Oops. See, I'm making a mess too. Let's wait. Did, did we put you... pepper in? I don't think so. No, we didn't get did that you put salt in? No, I did not. A little bit of salt. Oh, we're going to contaminate this with a little bit of paprika. That's okay. <laughs> you know, and this is sometimes if you've got just the shaker at home, you could get just a nice coating that way too. Did we forget something? Well, the, we, this, but we're not right. going to put that in yet. I meant dry we, ingredient did that. No, I think we did good. salt. We did yeah. all that. Okay. We're good. We are good there. Okay. Right. And this oh. is for the next stage. We, okay. we might make a mistake again. We might make too much. <laughs> all right. So okay. we're going to, and we're definitely going to wash all this afterwards. So yeah, I'm going to real quick, I'm just going to spray this basket over the sink so we don't get oil everywhere. And you know, when you're spraying, let's spray the, the top layer of these, then I'll flip them over. There you go. Good as cold, because that'll make it a little bit more crispy. It'll crispy it, and yeah. it will help all of this good stuff stick to it. Speaking of which, <laughs> once again, we're going to be real scientific. <laughs> drizzle, 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 drizzle. If you don't like lemon, you could use lime. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other things. We were talking earlier, some people like more of the hotter spices. That works great too. Um, oh. These are still. Oh, I broke it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, hmm. You know what? What if you pour and I will pat? Yeah, just tea oh, myrtle down. Thank you. Yeah, you just never enough hands in the kitchen. <laughs> But see, that way, this one yeah, will okay. bake Press in a little in better. There. And then, do we flip it over in the? Um, on the you can, but okay. it, you, we may not have to, because you're going to have air coming up and down. Oh, gotcha. And we've got the holes in the basket. So, so we, we just won't put, put it right spices. on there. Yeah. yeah. I was just thinking, let's put the spices on the other side of it. Yeah. And I'm just put them, that's fine. Just put them yeah, on Go the ahead and give me a little bit more, because once again... <laughs> They'll fall off while it's cooking. Yeah. You know, the oil, the, ju the juice from the chicken will come up. Okay, you're, you're happy. All the That's skin good. is still on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the skin. It makes it nice and crunchy. I know. You can have a little bit of skin. You can have a little bit, but <laughs> it's, it's, cho it's choose my battles. I choose yeah. my battles. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to make more of this. Stuff. You know, that one we'll do the we'll do the other we'll do the scientific broth. section. We'll have the broth and we'll just yeah. Sprinkle on top because okay. the chicken will get it from the broth. So I'm just going to spray it a little bit more. Yeah, because it was all dry on top. And then we'll put it in the air fryer. Do you need to know how many pounds that was? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna guesstimate here. It says <laughs> 1.7. If you want to know what the package fry. says, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 400. You could do like 350, 325, but because of time. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with that. All right, so we're gonna. We're gonna All right, so for the pressure cooker, we're going to use some broth. You probably just pour it right in the pan. Okay. Not always this neat. <laughs> I usually wait till the end, and it's like unless it's something oh, slimy. <laughs> I don't love when the edge of the bag later. falls down. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is our third third way of doing chicken. Another way we could do chicken too is there's a lot of nice microwave recipes. Mm -hmm. You put water in them too. Put a nice cover on them. Maybe vent it just a little bit, and um, and it, it works good too. 
you know. And you know, one of the things when you've got the day that you're being creative and enjoying all this activity, make sure to pick some for tomorrow and make some for the freezer for the next day. Yeah. You know, because when you're cooking for one, it's a pain in the neck. Right. This is one of the smallest packages right. of meat out there. Now, I maybe when I get it home, maybe freeze it one piece at a time. Mm -hmm. So when I feel like yeah. I just want chicken tonight, here's yeah. one. I can cook it and do whatever I want with it. Or if I'm cooking too and doing it on the grill and then freezing it for the winter so I can have that grilled taste in you the middle of the winter. marinate it in the freezer bag. Yeah. And then like the pressure cooker, oh. you can just like marinate, freeze it. That's just so quick. You just put it in there and it may take 10 minutes and you'll cook a, and you won't even be able to tell. Oh, nice. You can, this is a slow cooker too, but of course we don't have eight hours to do this. Yeah. But. And that's the other way. If, you, if, if chewing meat is hard, a slow cooker with a little bit of broth. Yeah. Or a little bit of your potato water from the day before and a few herbs and spices, it will melt in your mouth. Yeah. And that will be really good if you have trouble chewing and sometimes digesting because that breaks down more of the fibers and makes it easier. This one, instead of spraying it with oil, and since it's going to sit in some liquid, I'm going to try a little bit of butter on it, okay? And then we'll shake some. Oh, thank you. There you go. Of course, it's still hard. It's all right. It'll melt quick in there. <laughs> I, think just, I think if we just put everything in there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like I was that. thinking it would help hold a few spices together in here, but yeah, we'll put it in the bottom of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to do that one. Um, yeah, yeah I think we just more. put everything in there. It'll mix up. Yeah. And then we'll put the chicken in next. Should we salt and pepper each piece before we put it in or just let it soak in the broth? I'm not used I to cooking in the instant I think we pot. just throw everything in. Okay. That sounds good to me. <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's easy. Yeah. I know the one time I did my chicken in my slow cooker, but when it was time to turn it off, I was like not ready to play with it. So <laughs> I let it sit a little longer. So if you do forget, it just came off awful soft. Yeah. And I was like, okay, we're going to not do that for this recipe and made something else. The other thing we could do once we cook all this chicken, we could have made chicken soup with it too. You yeah. know, once it's cooked, right? Or it like up and chicken use the salad broth. or anything really. Yeah. I wash my hands too. So yeah, I just definitely. The yeah, I did too. Be careful. And then, oh, these are getting pretty, I think. I think I better turn the heat up over here. Mm -hmm. Add some more. All right, so what did one. you want to add for in this pressure cooker? So um, let's put the liquid in. Okay. And how that way, this, how much of this would you like? I'd say let's cover, cover the chicken, or at least two thirds cover the chicken because it's pressure. Yeah. So we may not need all of it, but if we do, that's fine. Then we'll have nice chicken. Yeah, chicken we just, I'm just going to add it all. Yeah. Because it was. And then, and then um, do you want any of the spices in there? Yeah, the only one we don't need is salt for this one, simply okay. because the butter had salt and the broth had salt. And I did get the low sodium broth, and it really did make a difference. You know, granted my serving size is a cup of this stuff, and it only had 110 milligrams of salt, which, you know, that's not too bad for broth when you start looking at soup sodium contents. Um, right, so and we want to watch the salt because of blood pressure challenges. Add some yeah, and this is this is the best time. You just grab some stuff and sprinkle it on, and go. What well, looks good here? Oh. Okay, this guy doesn't get the garlic. So if you don't like garlic, this is the one without the garlic. Oh, we forgot. I knew we forgot something. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we've got it all sitting out. Um, all right. So I put some of this. You do. I've got some of that in. I put the paprika. I didn't put pepper. Um, Let's put a little more of that one in. Okay. And then we'll put a little more pepper too. Yeah, I think so. Okay. You know, when you're using dry spices, you sometimes need a little more than yeah. fresh, I right. think. Or is it the other way around? Are they stronger I think when they're dry? I think you need less when it's dry. Oh, okay. I, I always know. mix that up. <laughs> we'll go with that. All right. And one of my recipes really wanted two whole cloves of garlic for just about a pound and a half or two pounds of chicken. So this is going to be garlic. All right. So and then we need to mix it before we. Here's a spoon. I think that's my vegetable. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we have a cross Right. 
Oh, oh about well, this one. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, just so that the slices are all mixed up good together in here. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that. All right. All right. Do you think we forgot anything? No. We got some butter. Right. Oh, I did put lemon juice in that one. All right. Do we want lemon juice in it? Go ahead. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> so again, you can you can customize these however you want, whatever kind of spices that you like. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Okay. Well, that was another weird thing. I was reading recipes. They wanted some vinegar. They wanted lemon juice. I was like, okay, they know something I don't. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna hit poultry and start pressure cook and pressure cook. Because it's on warm right, right now. Pressure cook, poultry. How much time? And we're going to just maybe do the butter. I don't know. This is this part. Oh, that's delay start. Yeah, it well, it, it's gonna it it'll start. Oh, okay. It has to kind of steam. Oh, I got gotcha. you. The it's pressure it takes fresh. like a second. Yeah. Okay. Same thing if, if you're doing the air fryer in that. Not in here, but mine at home is. I have the same exact one. And it'll just, it won't start cooking until it's up to the proper heat. All right, I'm gonna take a peek at this. This needs, no, this one's okay. I think it just needs more higher heat. It was steaming up the pot really well. I mean, now that I got those frozen vegetables in there, it's going slow. <laughs> I don't know where my pot holders are. Oh, they were here, they disappeared. That's okay. That's, I gotta well, Oh my gosh, oh, see, it's looks. already it's it's already browning up, so yeah. And that looks really good. Clear. Yeah. Alright, we'll leave that in there. Alright, why don't we take out Sweet. these potatoes? Weren't you gonna talk about some options for toppings? Oh for yes. the sweet potatoes. For the sweet yeah. potatoes. Yeah. These are all we don't want to cross contaminate again. So yeah. let's put this, yeah, put this on a plate. Put it on a plate. Yeah, yeah. because I probably should wipe that, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut there's a careful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at the size of these potatoes. That's a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, that's a more reasonable Ooh, potato. It smells really good. Let's see. One petite potato is your serving size and it's 26 grams of carbs. You know, so if you put your carbs here, or if you put it in the fruit as dessert, you can choose where do you want your carbs in this. Yeah. Uh, so what I was thinking we could do to make this go farther is slice them up. And then we're going to do a little bit of um, cinnamon butter. Oh, like Texas Grill House yeah. butter? Mm. <laughs> I love that place. And this is something I was thinking about in the middle of, well, no, the middle of shopping, you're going, I gotta get something for the potatoes, oh, and I kept no. looking for the wrong thing. So, you want to mix it in a bowl? I, just, or something here, you wanna... I don't know how much we should make. Here, here's it. Okay. Because we'll leave some of this plain because some people don't like the extra stuff in their stuff. And I'm sure some people would like butter, but our butter is still really solid, so that's not yeah. going to work yet. And I don't know about you, but every time I put butter in the microwave for two seconds, it's a mess. So why don't we just pick out a clump? You know, and the butter or the margarines, the other challenge here is it's about the taste, not the drowning. Right. Which reminds me, I should look and see if this needs flipped over or anything. Yeah, I think maybe. But with the lid, sometimes yeah. you don't have to flip. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's Let's okay. See. The lid's not on. I mean, this knob isn't hot. Oh. Woohoo! You want to flip Check it over? Check that out. Oh, that looks awesome. You think I should awesome. flip it? No, I think it's, I think it's good. Okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, because the lid's probably keeping yeah, it. As if I, yeah, the lid's keeping the cotton there and, and it's turning the same there. color on top. And So how long should you cook it? Do you cut it into it and make sure that it's... I will, or I will take this one off the last of everything okay. else because right. I'd rather my chicken be very cooked. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I, you know, if it's a little pink, it might be okay. Um, the best thing to do, though, is have a cooking thermometer and it's a special meat thing and you put it not all the way to the bottom of the pan. You got to kind of pick the middle of the meat and of the cookbooks and the web internet all tell you whatever temperature is right for whatever meat. Right. So cinnamon, any kind of cinnamon, because some restaurants serve cinnamon butter with 
the sweet potato. The other thing that's fun when I was looking at um, spices, um, ginger, clove, and one other one that I was like, oh, I didn't think of that. Cinnamon is great on different fruits, different cereal. Um, and then we're just going to mix mix it up. And if it's not pretty enough, we'll just add more as we go. Yeah. And this, once again, probably like if you had one of those little um, wisps would make it a little easier. Um, Butter-wise, if you're looking at labels, they make whipped butter. Mm -hmm. And then you can have a little bit bigger serving because um, that air got incorporated. Right. So it'll tell you two teaspoons is the serving instead of one teaspoon which a teaspoon is like the tip of your finger. What do you think? I think that looks really good. So then how would you, so you would kind of slice them open like a big potato? Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, because we want a good flavor. We need a little flavor. Well, I could we at least just show like one, how you're doing it. Yeah, because I was thinking what we could do is Maybe this way, or we could cut, you know, coins. You know, that's but another what way. What about to do the it. skins? Well, you can eat the skins because that's where all I've the fiber ever, is. I don't think I've ever eaten. That. Well, in white potatoes, we do that. Um, or we could. I'll just do a few this way. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had. I think the sweet potato skins. I think my daughter did this before she roasted. That's, that's why that works so much better. Oh, these okay. guys are cooked. <laughs> so let's face it, the best way to do these guys is going to be Slice down the side. Then. Okay. And then I was just trying to get the most mileage out of our potatoes. But they're so, these are yeah, so they're, sweet. They are really They little. are the right size. So See, that looks like it's not a portion. It looks like it's too small of a portion to me. So well, and that's, that's, that's why we the whole potato... <laughs> And it's going to be, what did the thing tell me? It said one petite was 26 grams of carbs. Okay. So, and I said, you know, three ounces of potatoes is usually 15. So these guys must be about four ounces. Um, and it's got four grams of fiber in one of them. And natural sodium was 70 before we did any cooking with it. Um, there's potassium in here too. And the potassium, we kind of, you know, we start not eating fruit. Yeah. Potassium is one of the things that help our body use salt. So if we don't have enough potassium, we start having challenges with the salt. If we're not eating, we get other problems also for swelling. So that's also an interesting thing. So, and then these guys get all their claim to think, oh wait a minute, it worked better to do it this way. This one's crooked. I'm going to have to try the skin. Because I, well, I, and you never, know what? You're right. I never thought about eating this skin. It, and usually it's like a baked potato where you've got the little bit chicken. of salt on the side. I don't want our chicken to burn. Oh, yeah. Let me check this. Should, should we? I'm gonna cut, cut one. Yeah, cut, cut, cut into one. I wanna make sure. Um, that that's wrong. Okay, that I'm gonna wash this. Yeah. One. <laughs> yeah, that was our raw meat one. Yeah. Don't want that. Well, you know, the other thing I just thought of too: toppings for sweet potatoes. Sometimes is some. Um, brown sugar. A little bit of brown sugar is not going to be a problem, especially if you've got a little potato. Yeah. You, you know, you just skip the stuffing mm -hmm. somewhere else or do something else. Um, the chicken is a little pink still inside. Oh, it still okay. has some more time on it. So how are the vegetables? <laughs> are they steaming? They are now <laughs> steaming. Okay. I, it, it finally, it went to the top. Right. <laughs> and they were very cold when we did that. And I wanted them to take their time so unfortunately I turned the heat okay. down a little too far so I think the rest of them we could we could try you know, when we're done with the chicken let's try putting a little bit of the vegetables on that tray like to roast it we can and see what happens so 
honestly, my daughter is the mad magician. And I was like, sometimes I pick her brain. <laughs> and she is definitely, oh, well, one more hiding. So we got quite a few potatoes here, yes. you know? So if we only ate half, you're only getting 13 grams of carbs instead. Right, you're only getting two grams of fiber instead of four, but you know, it's not as forid. And then if you compost, use your, um, put your skins out there to make yeah. your vegetables grow later in the season. All right, let's move this. Yeah, move that because now we're cutting this guy. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. I'm Oh, they finally look a little warmer than they were before. They don't have any frosties on them. <laughs> and they look really nice. Yeah. So, so then what, what would you, what do you want to do with the vegetables once they're steamed? Just salt and pepper? I'm just going to cut them. Okay. And then, um, if we eat them warm, you can put a little bit of butter on them or yeah. sprinkle whatever flavoring you want not on the them. Cinnamon butter. I did not salt and pepper because I like people to do their own salt yeah. and pepper at the table. Right. I know that's a horrible thing for a purist that's like, no, it's all got to be there first. Um, but then I'm going to cut them so that they're not so big because some of these pieces were pretty big. So then we'll put uh, these, we'll put one of each kinds of chicken on plate so they can see how they turned out oh. and put the vegetables okay. maybe there. Oh, gotcha. That's last. But we go eeny, meeny, miny. Well, <laughs> and then we can, well, we can make an actual plate too. So just so oh, you can yeah, see. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have a plate so you can see Each what's one. the serving size. You divvy that up so okay. they can see exactly, you know, what. So, take the skin off of there. What is the proper serving? It's the other half of that little mini. These guys are all minis, so we could do two halves or one half, whatever you want. And if you're on a few more cards at your meal, you could have a few more pieces of potato or you could use fruit. You know, we only want one fourth of our plate. So my, my other little hand trick is half the plate be veggies. You know, the okay. fiber vegetables, so your fingers are fibery. That's right. what we've got in our mix. It's, um, we said it was California mix, but I think our bag said something else. Yeah, it has zucchini, it, cauliflower, carrots, yeah. broccoli. Yellow squash in here, carrots, broccoli. Yeah, yellow so squash. most of the, the California medley was in there, but it had some squash too, so that was great. The summer squashes, we don't worry about. Um, the winter squashes, like pumpkin, butternut, um, acorn squash a cup of those is the 15 grams of carbs so your fist for those all right so and how then, much cinnamon butter should you be putting on that well you know a teaspoon of butter which okay here's half a teaspoon we're going to okay, share some wash this. oh no we could share some paprika then. i don't think that would taste good <laughs> okay that's what you're when you're running out of dishes <laughs> he's like ah that could share we'll be okay <laughs> so you know, this is one, one half of a teaspoon for the butter. And, you know. A <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. All of your goods. That's all right. I'm trying to find a knife. Butter. Well, put it on this. This will work. Wanna work? <laughs> That'll work because I only want to do, well, you know what? I can do it out of that end because that's a small opening because this is a half. This is half a teaspoon. So, you know, maybe that's a lot of butter. The other neat thing you want to do when you're buttering your potato is cut it down so that the butter in that goes down. And the other piece that will help is sometimes just save the butter until when you're actually eating and pick up a little bit and pick up your little bit of food. And that way, once again, you're getting the taste with the food at the same time instead of it melting down in the hole and not getting anywhere else. And then, like cinnamon doesn't have any carbs to worry about. Generally meats, we don't worry about the carbs. And the neat thing is in meats, about every ounce is your seven grams of protein. So if you're trying to do more protein in your life, um, every ounce of chicken, beef, pork, um, they're all about seven grams of protein. What cut of meat you did, that's why I was cutting off the fat and the skin, cuts out the fat part of the plate. 
need some for vitamins, need some for taste and satiety, but sometimes we get too much. And now I'm having fun with using this thing the wrong way. Ah. This pressure cooking is taking, taking a little bit longer than I thought, so we may have to. Oh. This chicken, I believe, is. Yeah, that much looks done. done. Yeah, yeah everything is nice and brown and nice looking. So, so one serving of chicken then would be one piece. One piece of chicken. Yeah. Because okay. it was a pound. Each one was a pound. So um, so that this is the this is the air fryer chicken. Yeah. And then this, we want to put one of these guys on there. Okay. And then so we can show what it looks like. And I'll uh, read the, I don't know if this I could shot. I'll open it and see. Well, it's still, it's still, still thinking about it. Thinking about it. All right. If you okay. want to put some veggies, yeah, on the table. And then that's the other thing we can kind of trim up. Let's see if they're warm, or if it's just my steam up through. They smell good. Woohoo! That would be nice if that worked. Oh well, technical difficulties there. We'll figure it out later. Which one is? Oh, this so one's this telling us done. it's done. This one is. I don't that's, know. What, oh, that's telling us it just started, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. That's okay. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have two different kinds of chicken. All right, and then you want to put, yeah, yeah, however many vegetables. You should have. Well, these are the ones that you want. So you said half your plate. plate. Half of your plate. Half your plate fourth. can be your vegetables. Okay. The choose my plate. It's got like one fourth is the non-starchy veggies, and the other fourth is um, a fruit. But um, it, it, this is once again, if you can do veggies, great. Um, these plates are bigger than the nine inches, so yeah, these I should are very much move it in and give it a window to work from and we'll try to get a little bit now see how big that piece was that's why i'm going to cut these up <laughs> once we get in here that and i'm just good. hoping that yes they are steaming that's what i wanted to make sure that they got hot enough yeah, to steam hot. a little bit so then what would you then have would you be able to have a dessert with this type of meal yeah or what would you recommend for that? so you could have fruit um, you could have a little, you know, it's, it's what, what, what do you like for your dessert? Right. You know, and it's, you know, sometimes, um, I love my cake and my pie, so I'm skipping potato because I want to spend it in the pie if I'm at a place right. that has a really good pie and it's been right. like a month or two and I'm like, mm, yeah, I really want that one. Um, so it's, it's choosing where you want to spend your stuff. Okay. Um, and that's the thing we sometimes forget is that we have to look at that big picture overall um you know maybe there's stuffing and you love stuffing and you only get it for the two meals right a little bit of stuffing a little bit less of the potato um no potato at all if you didn't want to or if you didn't want to do meat you could use your lentils legumes or your tofu stuff as your protein even though it's a carb okay. and then so, does that look this looks beautiful like a good, yeah oh i should we'll pull be, one of these out of here we'll be, We'll be, uh, oh, that's right. We can, we can pull this one out. It's getting hot. Yeah, this one I would turn off probably. Oh, yeah. So then you can kind of see this one. If the air fryer one is like a little crispier. Yeah, and this one I had a little, little too more. much oil in the adventure. That's right. Put it here. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, give them a sample of... I'll take a picture of a sample of all of the different types of... I can hear the pressure cooker cooking now. So I'll throw that one out. Then. And then the other thing we can do with the drippings in here is we could make gravy. Or a couple of the recipes have those in the pan. And then, okay. So two different types of chicken. This one is, it is bubbling, but you will have to just... 
Take our word for it. <laughs> okay. so, that's cooking. So is there anything else you want to mention about the diabetes program? How can they reach you? Oh, yeah. Um, it, your insurance covers diabetes education, and even in pre-diabetes, it'll cover some level of it. Most programs do because learning how to readjust your plate or how to fit your favorites in and not sink your ship Knowing there's a problem, that's right. the half, half, knowing when your body is in the background saying, hey, white flag, I'm surrendering, help me out. Right. And that's why we try to push the whole point with the pre-diabetes is those times when you're a little bit high, but not high enough to call it diabetes, changing up your right. plate a little bit, mm -hmm. adding activity, right. adding that strength training stuff. If you don't know to make a switch up, then you can't prevent things. Because the whole idea is once we, we say pre-diabetes, we're trying to beat that clock of preserving what you can still do to keep your blood sugar safe. And then even if we say diabetes, there's still lots of things we can do. Right. Oh, I wonder what time that is. Okay, yeah, time has flown. Oh my All gosh. All right, so if, um, if you do want to get a hold of Lori, you can get a hold of her at the hospital. Um, we will be posting uh, the recipes, and I'll post your contact information too. So if yes, you do want to make an appointment with yeah. you, they can do that as well. Uh, but thank you everyone thank for you. watching and thank you Lori for Yeah, for thank this you. Kitchen. This okay, was fun. Thank you, thank you so much.